Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Essence. I am currently in the parking lot of my workplace. Got here a bit early, so I thought I'd do a video. And in today's video, I want to talk about luck. What is it? Does it exist? Is there any chance that you can manipulate it? So, first thing, I want to talk about what luck is. So, luck seems to be um, energy, either negative or positive, that falls onto particular people, and either good things or bad things happen from it. Some people have good days and bad days, and it seems like luck is pretty fickle. In fact, that's what it's described as. Uh, the goddess, uh, the Greek goddess Tiki, who is the goddess of luck and fortune. She is also seen to be a very fickle being. She wears a blindfold and she basically throws luck at whoever without knowing exactly who she hits. So that kind of gives you an idea of what luck was perceived as back in the day. Um, but what I think luck is, is, is energy. And a lot of things can manipulate it, uh, whether it may be the alignment of the planets. Even though I don't really know a whole lot about uh, astrology, I do know that like the moon has effects on people, the sun has effects on people, so why not the planets? And um, also the energies that people pick up during the day, whether it's from negative people or positive people, can also have an effect and we can also create our own good and bad luck based on what we're feeling. And so, um, is luck able to be manipulated? I believe so, yes. While we may not be able to fully control the good and uh, bad energies that come our way, there are things that we can do to help ourselves. Uh, to keep our energies high, keep our energies positive, meditation, prayer, um, spiritual cleansing with moon water, or um, sage or incense that has been blessed. Um, therapy can also help alleviate negative emotions, help alleviate bad luck. As for all the things that are normally good luck... Like, a ladybug is supposed to be good luck. Um, what else is supposed to be good luck? <laughs> Funny, I'm blanking on them, and yet I I know a lot about luck. Oh. Um, the number three is a magic number. It's also said to be good luck. Seven is supposed to be a good luck number. And so on, things like that. I believe that those kinds of things... Also, the part about, like, breaking a mirror, um, walking under a ladder, which is not a good safety measure, um, black cats, to me, are not bad luck. I love black cats. Black short hair cats are so cute. And, um, people should not deny them love because they're, quote, bad luck. That is just what superstitious people say, so I wouldn't put a whole lot of... Uh, soup like superstition into it because that isn't real knowledge that is just a figment of your imagination if you will so all the things that are good luck as well they'll have good luck so long as you believe in it and if you believe something's going to give you bad luck you're going to jinx yourself because you're believing now that you have bad luck now the breaking a mirror thing i think might have some merit to it because Mirrors are supposed to be um, portals to the other side. Spirits can see through it. And if you give a mirror enough energy, it will uh, create this portal. And if you break it, that's disrupting the energy, which can unleash these spirits or unleash a bunch of negative energy upon you. So therefore, I would... Properly cleanse each mirror in your house whenever you can. Like, I would say once a month is probably safe. Depending on what's happening in the room it's in. 
So if there's a room where like a lot of fights break out and stuff, cleanse it once a week. But if it's just an ordinary mirror and it's just like a, a living room or something where people hang out and stuff, once a month. Um, but anything else, I really, I mean, walking under a ladder, even a real dummy can see why that's not a good idea. So, in my professional opinion, I would say that, um, luck does exist, good and bad, and it's basically energies that come into our lives, uh, depending on, uh, certain circumstances and situations, can it be manipulated? Absolutely. Magic can manipulate all kinds of energies. And uh, if you are having bad luck, there are many remedies, like I just said, to alleviate that. And to bring yourself good luck, manifestation. Manifestation. Just manifestation. Manifest yourself good luck. Manifest yourself the life you want. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my future uploads. And wish me luck at work.